What's going on guys, Thrills in a Block back again. We're in the garage with the OBS pickup truck and today we're gonna use a product from Amazon to see about getting the bed off. So here's your official review from your boy Three Wheels. All right, so I was messing around on Amazon. I said, you know what? I gotta pull a bed off of this truck. You guys have seen this. And um, I've used the cherry picker with straps before. Then the uh, white lightning, the Silverado you guys saw before, I decided to go ahead and pick up this bed lift to see what the difference is because I said, why not? If it's a tool that makes my life easier, I need to use it. So there's the part number, one bed lift, and it's made in Vietnam. So yeah, pretty cool. Distributed by a, a company in Dayton, Ohio. Anyway, let's get this thing unboxed, see what it looks like, and see how it works on this short bed, regular cab. Anyway, let's see. This is the bed lift. I'm going to go ahead and cut this thing open. I'm not worried about this bed being damaged. As you can see, it's already in pretty rough shape anyway. But the bed's coming off, and I figured if there's a tool to make my life easier, I should be using it. So let's go ahead and get this thing cut open. Put plenty of tape on it. It's all steel, so I'm sure it's probably not damaged. Whoop. Trying to roll out of the box already. Right. Tape was doing a lot more than I thought it was. I would assume I'd be pretty aggressive with opening this since it's all steel. It might get scratched, but I don't think it's gonna break anything. All right. So it's red. And um, looks like a couple beams, maybe a cross beam. Let's pull it out here and investigate what we have. Ooh, she's heavy. Looks like these are the extension beams. Yep. So my guess is that these beams go in this way. They stick it to the side of the bed. There's a cross beam in the center where you live from. I'm gonna lay this in the truck and we'll get the other one out laid in as well. All right. Now these do have numbers as far as positioning, so that's nice. Should work with any size bed. So we have some grade five hardware. Looks like some 516s. 18 bolts, approximately three inches long with some washers. And yes, my hands are dirty. I've been working with um, stuff all day. So yeah, sorry, no gloves. You get to, you can deal with man hands today. I know you're out there listening, Jody. So here is uh, some knobs that we use to lock in the center bar to the crossbars. Thumb turn knob, it's very nice. Not to bring any tools out, so that's cool. You, it looks like you will need a um, half inch or three, 13 millimeter wrench and or socket to tighten in the center section. Now this is me just talking off what I see. I've not looked at the instructions yet, provided there are instructions in the box, which I have not seen yet, but there might be. So we're gonna get our hand turn knobs out. I think we just need four from what I can see. Yep, just four of those. And I'm gonna set those down the bed. This is the center section, which it looks like you will be lifting from. Yep. And there are no directions in the box. Cool. Pretty self explanatory. You got this center cross beam. Let me flip the camera around. Ah, now I can see myself. Oh, yeah. So you've got this center cross beam here. Take one of your th thumb turn knobs. Go ahead and spin that in there. This will lock your cross beam where you can balance the bed as you go to remove it. Now, it's pretty nice uh, tube here. Not quite 3 16 definitely not quarter inch. Um, I think the tensile strength is enough to lift this bed. I probably wouldn't try anything too crazy with it. Um, I would have liked to have seen something a little more heavy duty, but I think it's sufficient enough to take care of what we've got to do here today. So I'm gonna lay this down in the bed. The ends attached to here on either side and you see there's two holes here. And those two holes are where your 5 16 18 bolts go through here and they go into the other section and bolt it together and then you'll slide your other sections into the ends of the bed and lock them down with your thumb turn knobs i'll zoom in on that when we get to that point but right now i'm gonna go ahead and bolt all this together and then we'll start the other portion of the assembly actually i think i'm actually going to slide these in and tighten them up first and then slide them into this because that'll make it a little bit easier okay let's So 
So they did a good job color coding the stamping to where the numbers are actually facing up and down. So it doesn't matter which way you do this. I guess. So I'll show you guys here. These are the numbers. See, they kind of show up there on the side. Hopefully, you guys can see that in the camera. So I've got it roughly pulled out to 12. Um, and the knobs here go into the welded nut. I'm going to leave the welded nut up top so that way the weight. It's pulling steel on steel and not on the actual pin or the nut that locks it in place. My recommendation, you can do what you like. That's how I'm going to do it. If it fails, you'll know here, not what to do. Oh. One thing you might not want to do is try to do this by yourself. It's getting drawn pretty easily there. There's 12. Interesting, this bed seems to be wider at one point than the other, or these parts aren't made the same, so one of the two has happened here. Go ahead and get your thumb turned knob started in the other one, and I'm not going to tighten anything down until we get the center section in, but this is going to kind of help me to guide that center portion where it needs to be at. So, got a little bit of tension on there, we're not going to lock it down hard or anything. This is basically just to keep it from wiggling around on us. Alright, then for the center section, we'll start one end on here. So basically I just walked it down the bed and walked it back into position so I can get this locked in and that's probably going to be the easiest way to do it. Otherwise, you've got to bolt it together, bring it in here, and then slide one end in and try to bounce it and slide the other end in. I'm sure it's probably half a dozen and one, six, half, six and the other, half a dozen, six and one, half a dozen the other, or half a whatever, six and, yeah, that thing. That's probably what it is. Drop these bolts in. Go ahead and get these tightened up. These really don't do anything except for keeping the ends from pulling out. So a little wrench tight, probably gonna be just fine. I wouldn't go crazy with torquing them into the steel or anything. The steel is doing all the lifting. Highly unlikely it's gonna pull itself apart. This is just a means to keep everything together while you do the work, or I should say while the lift does the work for you. This is some chintzy hardware. Now it says 8.8M, which means it's grade five. Ah, I'd say it's probably about grade four and a half. This does not look like grade five hardware. I mean, maybe it is, but again, this isn't a whole lot of weight we're dealing with, but still, you might want to replace your bolts if you use this thing a lot. I probably will replace it with some I have here in the shop. All right, so in this center section, you just kind of want to get this um, kind of snug, I guess. Once you start lifting, you have an idea where you need to position it to. I'm gonna grab my cherry picker. Oh, and I guess I'll bring it in here from the side. Then we'll pick the bed up and see if we can move it off the truck so we can get to the fuel tank because I got a bad fuel pump. And um, also got to replace this bed because this bed is all dented up down here. Yeah, yeah, see it's all dented up. So since I got to pull the bed off to replace the fuel pump, I had another bed anyway, so I'll just walk the bed. All right, we got the engine hoist ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my hydraulic ram, air over hydraulic ram, make my life a little easier. 
probably have to extend it out to a half ton to clear the bed sides. with you so you don't bust your back window out on the cab. Um, there is a ground wire that you need to disconnect from the frame if you haven't done that and your cab bolts. Didn't go over that in this video. This is just about the lift. Sheesh. Which works really well. this wire loose we'll pull the bed on off Definitely want a second set of hands for this maneuver. I'm not even gonna act like this is safe. I mean, it's safe, but I'm not gonna act like uh, you should do this one by yourself. Remember, three wheels on a block is for entertainment purposes only. And this is surely for your entertainment. <laughs> So if you're wondering what's going on here, I'm moving this bed from this side of the garage to the other side where the camera is so I can load up on the trailer and get it out of here. So you guys have seen firsthand the bed lift in action. It's still suspended up in the air. Doesn't have a problem holding the bed. Holds it pretty level. The only thing I would recommend is that you maybe put something in the bed you can easily slide from left to right. So if you can't get to the very center of the bed to keep it level, you can adjust some weight inside there. You can easily use a tire or just a wheel or something like that. That'll help keep it level while you're moving it around. Like this is actually a pretty good setup here. If it wasn't for the fact that this bed was damaged on the other side, I'd probably keep this bed. But this was on its way out. But you could safely get your bed up to take care of your fuel pump replacement and safely get it back down on your truck. So yeah, I'm impressed. It works pretty good. It doesn't look like it's under any particular load or anything. It didn't tip over or fall over. So I'll consider it good. Thanks for watching this video on the Amazon bed lift for your pickup truck. This works on a wide variety of trucks and uh, seems to do a good job. So I'm impressed with it. I think not bad for the money. This isn't a sponsored video. I just figured I'd show you guys what it was about, how it worked and if it worked. So you're welcome. My name is Erwin. This is Three Wheels on a Block, where we're giving back, but time is taken away. We'll see you soon.